You know, people tell me all the time that I'm so busy and they can't believe that I get everything done. Some people even think I'm too busy for my own good or that I might even be too busy to help them. You know what? I don't agree. I've been busy my whole life, literally. When I was in high school, well, actually throughout my entire childhood, my parents had me involved in all sorts of stuff. I think they just did a really good job of putting things in front of me that I could try and that I would like. I swam in high school and it turns out swimming was actually the only sport I was really good at. Other than swimming, I did a lot of 4-H stuff. I learned how to sew, cook, I did the dog project. I know, surprise, surprise. I had two dogs. Their names were Tootsie and Rosie. They were Springer Spaniels. And being busy at a young age really has just carried on to, into my adult life. You know, I never really slow down. Some people will say to me, well, after that you'll slow down. And it just doesn't happen. As you might guess, I get a lot of crap for it. <laughs> but I like to be busy. I believe that there is so much that goes into creating the life that you want. I genuinely love to give of myself as well, which means I like to do things for other people. So yes, I'm a real estate agent. Yes, I do a lot of videos. Yes, I love horses. There's a lot of other things that are never really seen. Recently, a friend of mine that helps me a lot in my business said, I think you should tell people about yourself like all the things that you do to help others and that you do in your business. So here it goes. I'm the president of the Olivia Caldwell Foundation, an amazing nonprofit here in Casper, Wyoming. I've been involved with this foundation for four or five years, maybe, but time has really flown. So it could be more. It's actually really touching to me. I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. My friend and client's daughter, Olivia, died of brain cancer when she was just 20 months old. Actually, she had this cancer twice in her short life. You know, she went through treatment and then it came back. The foundation raises money. We have several really, really successful fundraisers that have raised a ton of money for researching cures for childhood cancer. And the cool part about it is that through the research that we as a foundation have funded, they have found a cure for Olivia Caldwell's cancer. And every single time I say it, I get goosebumps because it's just so powerful that we were able to do that. Okay, so that's one thing that people might not know that I'm involved in, and I absolutely love being involved in it. Another thing I do, about four and a half years ago, I got my first real estate coach, which was pretty interesting because I was a successful agent before that, but I had never really been coached. I had a mentor who was my partner, but I had never really had a coach, so I started doing videos and I started networking with agents across the United States. And not only did it make me a better real estate agent, but it also gave me a way to give back and fill up my cup. Because in those coaching organizations, there are a lot of people who actually are brand new real estate agents. So after about a year into the coaching program, I started helping other agents before every single coaching call, every time, twice a week. So I get on 30 minutes in advance, and I just help people with things like questions they have about video, what questions they have about real estate, if they have a question or a problem in a transaction, I help them with all of that. And what I found is that I end up learning as much as they do. And so I've gotten some great ideas from it about business and how to serve my clients better as well. And really, that's what coaching's all about. And that is what seeking out new things is for me too. I always want to be better. I don't ever want to stay in the same spot. And so if that makes me busy, then I wanna be busy because I want to always be able to serve each client in the best way possible. And I have to stay on the cutting edge to do that. And coaching is how you do it. Obviously, my day as a real estate agent is really filled up with buyer and seller clients. The thing about a great real estate agent is that they are expert problem solvers. I don't even know if I could count how many problems I solve in one day. My husband's uncle is very impressed with the amount. <laughs> he thinks it's a lot and it probably is, but that is the job of a real estate agent. You know, if there weren't problems in a transaction, then I probably wouldn't have a job, right? I know how to solve problems and I know how to let you know how to solve problems too. That is really what I'm here for, you know. 
Maybe somebody can't get out of the house on time or there's something wrong with the roof and we can't get it replaced quick enough. I mean, there's all sorts of things. You don't know where the title is on the trailer house you're selling. You have a horse property, but I don't know. The barn is really half on the other person's property. You have a horse property, but you really don't because the zoning was changed and you didn't know. So now you're not really supposed to have horses, <laughs> but you've got to figure out how to change it back so that the next buyer is going to have horses. All of those things and much more are encompassed in the job that go on behind the scenes. And then of course there are videos and the marketing of every single listing that we do. So all of those things have to be scheduled into the day. And guess what? I do have kids. One of them works with me. One of them has his own landscaping business and one of them is still at home with me. So I'm a mom too. I have to try to balance all the time. And it's called balancing because it's never exactly equal on the scale. You constantly have to kind of go back and forth. And I think that's why I'm so effective at what I do. I schedule my day pretty well. I do realize that a lot of the time it's going to change because of a problem that's going to come up that I have to solve. So I am the girl who still carries around a paper planner. Yes, really. I just ordered one that you can write on with a reusable marker. So we'll see if I like that, but I'm a paper planner girl. I'm very, very sure to write everything down because that's the only way that I can get everything done. Now, I do have a phenomenal team that helps me. I think that sometimes people think I do it all by myself and I do not. I have somebody that helps me or a few somebodies all the time. I have a right-hand woman, Lindsay, that helps me teach these young agents as well. And they're turning out to be an absolute in integral part of our team. Lindsay is like the master of everything. She does work with clients on buying and selling, but she also does a lot of other things like taking care of us all. Lindsay has been with me for six years and she is quite amazing. She truly is the transaction coordinator because she makes sure that everything gets done and that everyone is doing what they need to to get things done. Sarah does the same thing, but she has also kind of stepped up into the transaction management along with Lindsay because sometimes we all get too busy and it's hard for Lindsay to get everything done. You know, there's not enough time in the day sometimes. Stacy has been with me for almost 12 years. I really can't believe it. She takes care of the foreclosures that we list. They're actually pretty time consuming because you have to upload pictures on a weekly basis and get all the repairs done and make sure people aren't moving back in, all the things that go along with those listings. And then we have them ready for selling. Stephanie helps me with my social media and putting houses on MLS. Malia, Sarah, Brandy, and Chris, and soon to be Carly, are all doing real estate. They're all licensed. They work primarily with buyers, but they also list some houses. I obviously do both because I've been in the business for 20 years. And then Malia does a lot of our mailing. She, we do quite a few mailers on new listings, and then all of our listings now go on a postcard that we send out once a month as well. We do quite a few other things. Carly does deliver CMAs when we need it. She is kind of a gifter extraordinaire. She helps me think of all the gifts to give to our clients. And that's one of my favorite things to do. My love language is actually gift giving for sure. I loved to gift them and I want to always get the perfect thing. So we do a lot of gift giving throughout the year to our clients. So that's really fun for me as well, just to see these young agents, one of them being my son, he's 19, just absolutely soar and do really great work. I think the trick to being successful is finding what you're passionate about, creating a network of people that you can count on and having goals and the ambition to achieve them. And also maybe a paper planner. <laughs> As always, I love what I do. I love living in Casper, Wyoming, and I want that for you too. We'd love for you to subscribe and comment if you have any tips on how to do everything, or if you have any questions. We love, love hearing from you, and we can't wait to talk to you and eventually meet you. Remember, we want you to love where you live. And we love puppies too. Thank <laughs> you.